Okay, guys, grab, gather around. Gather around for the Sunday. Oh, this is not Sunday's video. This is Friday's video. Um, I got these beautiful nectarines. Okay. Okay, guys, welcome to today's Friday video. Um, today we are talking about an important topic, which is the self-image. The topic of the self-image. <clears throat> I just want to talk about a couple of clarifying points about the self-image. And then I will leave you with some affirmative treatments, some affirmative statements that you can use to <clears throat> alter your mind, alter your mindset, and alter your self-image. Okay, so it won't be a long video. I, I'm actually kind of, uh, I need to get going soon. So here we go. So um, there is a book that talks extensively about the self-image that I've recommended to uh, a lot of you know my family friends. Um, the book's called Psycho Cybernetics by Dr. Maxwell Maltz. Maybe a few of you have read the book. Uh, if not, it's essentially a book written in the 1960s about a plastic surgeon. And he realized or came across this discovery that we all hold a self-image in our mind. And that our subconscious mind is a cybernetic system and its chief job is to get us in our physical physical reality to where we hold ourselves in our minds in other words our physical reality mirrors our self-image and of course Neville Goddard spoke about this extensively okay so that is why it is the single most important thing that you should do if you really want to change your life whether it be you want to lose weight, whether it, whether it be you want to, uh, you have this desire. I shouldn't use the word want uh, because I'll get into that in, in another video. But if you have the desire to lose weight, have a nice body, if you have the desire to be in a, in a relationship, if you have the desire to um, get a better job or whether, whatever it may be, whatever your desire is, you first need to see yourself in your imagination in your mind having those things doing those things being those things that is the first step why because your physical reality is just a reflection of your self image okay so that is the first most fundamental lesson of Neville Goddard's teachings and of any really any personal development teaching that you come across okay so with that established, um, I want to talk about the imagination and ask you guys uh, if you can really think about what have you been imagining recently, right? What have you been imagining? What have you been imagining before you go to bed? If you can't answer that question, that is problematic, okay? It means that you are not consciously and deliberately using your imagination to imagine the best things for yourself in your life, okay? And you need to be deliberately imagining things. And it's, again, it's a practice, something that you do every day, something that you should always be doing. You know, this is not something that you turn off. Um, <laughs> you know, you should always be imagining how you want things to be. But more so, you should always be imagining yourself winning at life, okay? Because if you've read Neville Goddard's books, if you've read all these teachings, um, now you know that your chief aim or job in, in your life is to imagine yourself winning at life. You know, imagine yourself doing what you want to be doing in your life. Imagine yourself being the person that you want to be in your life, okay? And you can go around all day listening to these teachings, listening to these lectures, being a hearer of the word, but not a doer of the word, okay? So you need to imagine yourself winning at the game of life, 
okay? And that can take shape in various forms because we're all individual and we all have our own unique desires. We all have our own divine plan for our lives, okay? So what one person's desires may be may not be what you desire for your life, okay? So, um, and that's basically it. <laughs> um, so I just want to make you guys conscious, aware of what you are deliberately imagining in your life. Okay, imagine yourself, see yourself winning in life. Now I have a few affirmative treatments that I will leave you with for today. And I said, of course, today's video is gonna be a little bit shorter because I am on a time crunch. I'm gonna go record some music uh, for a new album that I'm producing. So here are some affirmative treatments. Now these are really good to say at the end of the day before you drift off to sleep or in the early morning when you're sitting in silence or just have them in a notebook or something like that so you can pull it out throughout the day if the day is getting rough for you if you see that you're starting to imagine things that you don't want to imagine okay I have five statements here I'll post them in the, in the description below and you can use them to your liking all right um, affirmative treatment number one my life is perfect in every way, and my desires are fulfilled in divine order. Affirmative treatment number two. I am successful in every aspect of my life. I experience wonderful health, fulfilling relationships, and plenty of money and material good. Number three. I am in command of my life, and I am the master of my life. Number four, I am the divine expression of the highest and ultimate good, and my experiences reflect the highest and ultimate good. Number five, I am now filled with divine love and reject all else. There's your affirmative treatments. I will post that in the description. Repeat them to yourself out loud, okay? If you can say them out loud, it's a lot better. If you can say them with emotion, it's a lot better. Repeat them over and over in your head. Entertain images that correlate and correspond to some of those statements. Or if you don't like these statements, write out your own statements, right? Write something that gets you feeling good about yourself, gets you feeling secure about yourself, gets you feeling abundant about yourself. Okay, but the most important thing is to deliberately imagine yourself winning in life. Okay, I hope that video helped you guys. Uh, I will post another video this Sunday and I will see you in that one as well. Leave a comment, like the video, share it with other people, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.